Good morning. In this video, I'm going to uh, show you uh, how I've set up uh, KD Plasma activities combined with uh, virtual desktops. Um, at the moment, you're looking at my uh, what I call PID1 desktop, let's say primary desktop. And I've created four activities and they all have their own uh, setup. Uh, so you can change wallpapers, naming, etc. Typically KDE Plasma, highly configurable. Um, and what you can do is you can, uh, uh, at least I'm using the mouse wheel to uh, horizontally switch between the activities. So I can just uh, move my mouse wheel and I can a page between the various activities you create and it goes back and forth of course um, and I'm using the uh, but first let me open just a, a window then you can see the difference uh, and I use a, sh a keyboard shortcut meta control and arrow keys up and down to switch vertically between uh, virtual desktop 1 and 2 for the uh, activity you are on at that moment and I'm using Meta Control left and right to also switch between the activities. So I can use the mouse wheel, but also use the uh, left and right cursor with Meta Control or up and down with um, uh, with the cursor. So that makes it very easy. Horizontally, activities vertically, I can switch between uh, two vertical desktops. You can create as many as you want. Uh, if you want to also have horizontal uh, virtual desktops, which you will need, of course, then uh, in the end, if you create uh, as many as you, as you would like, then you have to also, of course, change the uh, keyboard shortcuts to, uh, to fit that uh, as well. But for me, uh, if you look at, I have uh, four activities and each activity has two vertical desktops. So I would have eight workspaces. Well, that's, uh, more than enough for what I'm generally uh, uh, am doing, and uh, so so I don't need any 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 more. But you can, of course, you can increase that uh, the way you like. Um, uh, so I think that that is a, a nice way to work with uh, with 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 plasma. And what I also really like is the combination with the for a special window or a special application settings you can uh, you can uh, configure. Uh, for instance, when I'm on the uh, uh, media and, and audio uh, activity, if I start the uh, this uh, this app, then I've set it up to start in a uh, own window. It always starts in this activity, always in this way. It is fixed. And it is not showing up in the pager, uh, for instance, here on Latadoc. So I do, it, it doesn't annoy me. I know it's running. It's an old DNLA app, which I really need. And if I open uh, 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 Spotify, it's, it's exactly placed above it. So And it's always in the same neat way. And I'm using this free space here to be able to always keep switching between the desktops with my scroll wheel. So that's also easy. It's something you have to set up in the beginning. Uh, if I, for instance, want to start Falcon now, I'll, I've also addressed special application settings for Falcon, but also for many other apps. So it always opens like this. Um, and I can easily keep switching between the desktops back and forth the way I want it. Um, and if I go full screen with an app, then a lot of dog uh, dodges below. So you have your full screen. And if you want, you can go back to uh, the uh, initial uh, placement of the windows uh, that you uh, uh, that you are uh, that you are using. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so that's a, that's I think a very nice way to uh, to work with uh, Plasma. Uh, okay, that's it for this uh, for this video. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, see you next time.